It's now time to complete Lesson 7, Chapter 5, Using Smart Art. Click Learn and Continue. Create a new blank document. And go to File, New, Blank. Click the Insert tab, and in the Illustrations group, click Smart Art. Here's the Illustrations group, and I'm going to choose Smart Art. Click Hierarchy for the category. So on the left hand side, I'm going to click on Hierarchy. And then click Hierarchy, the second layout in the second row of the center pane. So here is the second layout in the second row. And if I put my mouse on it, it's called Hierarchy. And then click OK. A blank diagram appears on the screen, waiting for you to enter text. You can choose to enter text directly into each box in the diagram or use the text pane to enter the text in one location. If the text pane does not display under Smart Art Tools on the Design tab and in the Create Graphic group, click Text Pane right here. There's our text pane. Mark as answered and click Next. In the text pane, type Nick Clausen. So in the text pane, I'm going to click and type Nick Clausen. And press the down key. That's the down arrow key on your keyboard. Type Cape Town. And then click in the next line to type Jamie Gibson. Press the down arrow and type Robin Black. Press the down arrow and type London. Press the down arrow once more and type Katherine Wilkins. Press Enter. Notice that Word automatically creates a new bullet line for you at the same level. This is similar to using the multi-level feature where Word will create a new line at the same level once you press Enter. To promote the pro point, press Shift and Tab and it will bump it up or press tab to demote the point to a lower level. Type Kyla McGill and click the X to close the text pane. Mark as answered and click next. Click the layout tab and in the page setup group click margins and choose narrow. On the layout tab and in the page setup group click orientation and choose landscape click the bottom right corner of the diagram and drag it to resize the diagram to fit the width of the page so i'm going to click the bottom right handle to fill the page there we go mark as answered and click next Under Smart Art Tools, click the Design tab, and in the Layouts group, click the More button to display the layout styles in the gallery. So here's the Layouts group, and the More button is the down arrow. Point at each of the layouts to see how the diagram would change if you apply this layout style. Then click Organization Chart. For me, that's this top left one. Let's look to see which options we can apply to enhance the appearance of this diagram. On the Design tab in the Smart Art Styles group, click Change Colors. And then click Colorful Range, Accent Colors 4 to 5. Colorful Range, Accent Colors 4 to 5. Here we are. Click the More button for the Smart Art Styles Gallery and point at different styles to preview the style. And then click Polished. Mark as answered and click Next. Suppose you hear that a new office will be open next year and you want to see how this addition might change the diagram. Click on the Nick Clausen box. And on the Design tab in the Create Graphic group, click Add Shape and type Toronto. 
for the name of this office. Then click on the arrow next to add shape and choose add shape below and type Toby Bellinger. Close the document without saving. Mark as answered and click show results. Great, you have now completed lesson seven, chapter five. Suppose you hear that a new office will be open next year and you want to see how this addition might change the diagram. Click the Nick Clausen box in the diagram and on the Design tab in the Create Graphic group, click Add Shape and type Toronto for the name of this office. Click the arrow for Add Shape, this little tiny drop down arrow and then click Add Shape below and type Toby Bellinger. Close the document without saving. Mark as answered and click Show Results.